Big Ticket Morning Show on V103, the ATL's number one for hip-hop, R&B, and throwback. Throwback. Queen. Shamia Morrison. Hey, best friends. We got more more guests in the building. We got more queens and a king. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, one of the uh, creators of Black Love. Mm-hmm. Hey. Cody Oliver. Hey, Cody. Hi, how are how you? How are you? I'm great. Good to mm-hmm. see you. And some people we all know very well, especially Shamia's best friend is here. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and she was different last time I saw her. What was she different was about her? Mrs. Now she is a big Mrs. <laughs> with a big rock on her hand oh, and a big glow on her I face. Can't see anyone. I mean, hello. Stop blinding <laughs> us. Please with the rock. <laughs> KJ Smith, Sky Black in the building. What's happening? Good morning. What's up? What's up? Sky Man. You have been missing out. Let me out. get the Smith Black, man. Let the me Smith, get the Smith. My man. My man. Come on, put the black on my name. My man. It's even black love. My man. Black. Yeah. Mrs. Black. You have missed the love affair between these two over the last <laughs> year or so. Yeah. And this is the energy all the time. Uh, the Black Love Summit. Yes, sir. It's happening here in Atlanta tomorrow. What is it and why is it? Why is it and what is it? All right. Well, Black Love, we have been around since 2017. And we mm. had the first Black Love Summit in 2018. And we are really just trying to celebrate, you know, and highlight our love stories and not just romantic love stories, but family, self-love. That's really, really important to us and our community. So we have conversations all day long. We've got music. We've got KJ and Sky. Um, and so we're really just trying to pour into our community and remind ourselves that love starts from the inside out. The wonderful happenstance that was a wedding that neither me or Shamir were invited to. Uh. But look, this is me in the bushes, looking at the bushes like... <laughs> It's a long. It was a long. It was a hundred oh people God. that wow. we ended up having to cut at the last minute only because we had to change. It was a whole. Let's be real with Atlanta, right? Baby doll. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, be real. real. Okay, I'm gonna be Keep real. it honest, guys. No, because it's a bad time to say I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at me. We we really <laughs> value black business. We value black love. Like we stand for everything about our culture. And at the last minute, um, the original venue that KJ and I had, mm. we. Had was negative experience. We was a very negative out. experience, and I will not any, never say anyone's names, but it was very racially mm. just, motivated. Oh, motivated! And oh, we no. went and we did the look through literally only three weeks before our wedding, and we couldn't even park in the driveway. What? what? And we wow. so this is not made up. This is like, not made up. So, and us. I'm gonna wrap it up really quick. So, um, KJ and I went back, and uh, we had already put down the deposit of a very substantial amount, and we said, "I will not." We both said, "We will not allow our guests, our black, mm-hmm. and we're, we speak black excellence, black right. love, black. We will not have our black people treated poorly in an environment." Amen. So we just left and left that money on the table and went and had a great whole experience. deposit. So we had to cut costs in some other ways. I mean, oh, you know, wow. it's interesting because people are like, "Oh, y'all are celebrities," but it's like we're. And especially the climate that right. actors are in right now, it's like we still have to be mindful of so mm-hmm. many yeah. things. Mm-hmm. And yes, that it was tr- it was like legit. Once they saw us, they knew because we it was the black experience. We mm. were creating the black experience, right. and we we're like, yes, it's the black experience. We yes. need this. And oh yes, okay. And so Lil Mo is gonna come out, and then and they were like a performer, and they were like the black experience. It was just a whole thing. Mm. We couldn't, they couldn't get take approved. it. It was too much. For it them. was a yeah. mess. So our, our invitations got left in the driveways. <laughs> Listen, and I understand. I'm, I'm sorry that y'all had to have that experience. Yeah, I can only imagine when you're wedding planning, that's already a lot in itself. So then to have a venue, yeah. Ish on you. That's that's that's, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry y'all had to deal with that, but it was beautiful, baby. Thank the new you. venue was venueing, honey. It was almost <laughs> like God said. It's true. It's true. It all happened for a reason. It's yeah, true. absolutely. It's true. So you have the docu series, and now you have the summit. What is yes. the definition of black love for you? Oof. Honestly, black love is how we love ourselves and each other. I mean, Mm. frankly, I feel like we have been a community that's been told that we are not worthy for so long that we started to believe it. And I feel like it's been my passion and my responsibility uh, professionally and personally to pour into us Mm. and to remind us that we are worthy, to remind us that we're never going to be successful in romantic relationships without that self-love, without recognizing, you know, what it means to, like, love our parents, our kids, et cetera. Like, all of our relationships stem from how we, like, our past experiences mm-hmm. and what we believe. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Black Love starts there. What is the definition for y'all? Because oh. now that y'all don't have your own anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I mean, it's I'll true. say really quick, I'll piggyback off of what Cody said. Like, KJ and I, we always say we never 
needed each other. We wanted each other because mm-hmm. we had gotten to a we had gotten to a point in our um, lives where we were both full. Our careers were happening. We were both getting to a great place of self love. So, yeah. Amen. I like it. Well, okay, so we know that these two are newlyweds, KJ and Sky, mm. but Cody, how long have you and Tommy been married? Uh, almost nine years in February. Wow, wow. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So if you could give <laughs> advice to newlyweds, um, mm. what, would, what would it be? Sure. I will say the one thing that I, that I always say that I know for sure after interviewing 200 plus couples, and frankly, I don't have to tell them, so hopefully I'll tell, you know, somebody's going to Everybody out there, yeah. But people always say marriage is work. And we always are like, what? What's the work? Like, you know, like what? What does that mean? It's, why, why is, is it, it work? <laughs> why is it work? That sounds hard. For me, what I've learned is that it's the work that you're willing to do on yourself. Mm-hmm. And it's not just like you said when you guys met, you had already done that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's it's evolving. Mm-hmm. You're gonna change. You're gonna go through different seasons. You know, and maybe not at the same time. So the work is like recognizing when you need to step back and give your partner grace. Mm-hmm. We need to give yourself grace. You know, when you don't have the answers. So that's that's to me is like the one thing that I know for sure. This is why there's a oh, whole yeah. summit happening tomorrow, people. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. Uh, lots of people gonna be there. A day of compelling conversations. Uh Deval and Kadeen Ellis are being in the building. Uh Pinky and Derek are gonna be there. Mm, yeah. Uh of course the, the blacks, meet the blacks will be there. <laughs> Ace Hood and uh, is it Shayla? Sheila. Sheila Moore. Yep. Uh Sheila, Sheila Marie, Marie is yep. gonna be there. Uh good friends of the uh, of the of the situation. Egypt and Mike are gonna be there. Yeah. Y'all got black love, love for Egypt real in the building. Yes. Uh, also, Carrie Hilson is doing uh, a black-owned marketplace situation. Carrie's talking about entrepreneurship and okay. impact, but we do mm. have a black-owned marketplace oh, got, got curated by the Village Retail. Oh, okay. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Got a DJ. Shout out DJ Gina in the building. Uh, so, so where do people get these tickets and first them? We try to keep it easy. Blacklove.com okay. slash summit. Amen. And when <laughs> people leave this summit, mm-hmm. what is your best wish for them mm. what do they Honestly, take away that they leave on a high on a high of joy and love for us yeah. reminded of who they are what their worth is and and feeling like they can go out and pour into others mm. 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 everybody mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that's, I just hug everybody that's the, the black love noise yeah, that was. Mm. <laughs> so oh. warm. Well, congratulations, Cody. Shout out to KJ and Scott. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Even though we weren't there, we felt like we was there. I was there in the spirit, baby, because every time it came up my time, I was like, oh my, you better go. Okay, that's a kiss for you, baby. My I was all that's over it. I'm friend. so happy for y'all. Thank this you. beautiful couple. Thank, Thank you so much. Amen. Thank the y'all. Black Love Summit is happening uh, tomorrow again. Go to Black Summit, excuse mm. me, blacklove.com mm-hmm. slash. Summit. There you go. Get your tickets and uh, congratulations to you all. Yeah. Amen. Y'all don't go too far. We got more big ticket morning show right around the corner next on V103.